Okay, as we all know the curve, y is equal to x squared, this right here does not pass this point, 5 comma 0. But is it possible for us to rotate it so that it does pass 5 comma 0? Yes, of course, because we can see it from the pictures right here, right? Okay, I know. The main question should be, by what angle that we have to rotate so that this right here does happen? Hmm, definitely much more interesting, right? And let me tell you, this question is actually from the Stanford Map Tournament. This is their map competition for high school students. And yes, I remember I graduated from UC Berkeley as an undergrad, but I wanted to tell you, they really have some nice stuff at Stanford, especially their map competition questions. So go ahead and check them out. I will have a link in the description. I will have a link in the description for your convenience. But as always, please pause the video and try this first. You did? Cool. I would like to tell you why I did first. Well, I first thought that because we are talking about rotations, so maybe it would be a good idea to convert this Cartesian equation into its polar form. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We know x is equal to r times cosine theta and y is equal to r sine theta. And by the way, this is not going to help with this equation. I know. But it's going to help us with the graph later on, so it's still cool to see. But anyway, we will just have to plug in this and that into here, right? So this goes here, so we have r sine theta. This right here will be equal to, well, we will have to do x squared, which is r cosine theta and square that. And uh, we square this, so we get r squared cosine squared theta, and that's equal to r sine theta. And I would like to divide both sides by r, and uh, I would like to divide cosine squared as well, because I want to isolate the r. So you can see that this and that will cancel, and this and that cancel. So we just have r by itself. And you know what? This is actually really cool. The parabola y is equal to x squared in its polar form is, have a look, we have this right here which is the same as cosine theta times cosine theta. This is like 1 over cosine theta which is secant theta. And then next we have sine theta over cosine theta which is tangent theta. Yes, this is just the derivative tangent, no, no I mean the derivative of secant theta. Um, but the problem is that this right here really doesn't help with this question because all of a sudden I don't have x and y to work with. I, I had to use 5 and 0, but yeah. <laughs> so, oh well. But anyway, this is how we can do it. Alright, we just have to think about what's the rotation real quick. So let me give you guys a bigger picture right here first. So. We have a parabola right here, and then the point that we want to get to is here, which is x is equal to 5. Well, there must be some point here that you take and you rotate and you end up right here, right? That's the idea. And when we do rotation, of course, you fix at the origin and just rotate. So you pretty much are creating a circular movement. And the idea is just that you can just look at a circle with radius 5, centered at 0, 0 like this, and you see that this is the point that you take and you rotate and you will hit 5 comma 0. That's it. So our goal is to first find out the point of intersection. That's it. Here this equation is y equals x squared and the circle, well, this is a circle, okay? The circle right here is x squared plus y squared is equal to 5 squared because the radius is 5. So now we can just put this in here, have a look we get x squared plus parentheses x squared and then squared equals 5 squared, which is 25, of course. This right here is x to the fourth power, and then we will have the plus x to the second power, move to the other side, so that's minus 25. This right here is actually the quadratic equation in terms of x squared. So we can just go ahead and say x squared is equal to, well, use the quadratic formula, we get negative 1 plus or minus square root of b squared, which is 1 squared, minus 4 times this and that, which is minus 100, minus negative 100, which is plus 100, and then plus the 1, which is 101. 
and then divided by two times that, which is just that. But you see, this is x squared, and of course everything should be real because otherwise you cannot see anything. So we get rid of this negative here. And in fact, this is all we need, because x squared represents the y value right here. And you see, once we have the y value, of course, we can also put on the corresponding x value, which is based on this. And the truth is, if we just kind of connect the dots from here to here, then we can have a hover little triangle here, and this is going to be the angle theta that we need. Very nice, huh? So, of course, if you look at this triangle, then we know that tangent theta is just going to be this over that. So let me just set this up first, x squared over x. And remember, we are trying to get the angle theta, so we can just take the inverse tangent on both sides, and you can see that the angle is less than 90 degrees, so you know the inverse tangent is going to be fine. So theta is going to be inverse tangent, and of course we do this over that, which is just x. What's x? Well, this is x squared, so let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides, just the positive version, this and that cancel, so we just have this. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have inverse tangent of this thing, which is the square root, negative 1 plus square root of 101, all over 2 inside like this. Yeah. Of course, this will be considered the exact answer, and let me tell you, this is approximately 64.8 degrees. And I'll also tell you, because we're all adults now, this right here is approximately 1.13135 radians. Alright? So, this is so cool, isn't it? Hey, I hope you liked the video so far. And if you enjoy problem solving and want to learn more, then you should check out our sponsor today, Brilliant. Brilliant is an excellent online learning platform with a big focus on interactive learning. This is from the Algorithm Fundamentals course, which is one of the things I wish to know when I was a student. After going over this course, you will be able to know the methods to measure and compare performance, and you will be able to learn all the fundamental problems in algorithm. I can tell you taking a course from Brilliant is really really fun because they will always keep you engaged by storytelling and beautiful animations. And the best part is, if you use the link in the description, brilliant.org slash blackpenredpen, then you can get 20% off discount. I want to thank Brian for sponsoring this video, and I also want to thank you guys for checking them out. Now here's the bonus part. I wanted to show you guys how to write an equation for this rotated parabola. Of course, it will be easier for us to use the polar form right now. Alright, so this is how we can do it. Because we just rotated clockwise D by this angle, so all we have to do is go ahead right here and just add this much angle. That's it. So this equation right here will be r equals and that will do it. Have a look. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, that's it.